Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into your forecast. This is going to be for April 30th until May 1st. So if you're new, welcome. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you never miss a beat. If you're interested in getting a personal session with me, just check out the description box or the comment section for that information. And um, I think, I don't know if I said this, but if you want to see my daily horoscopes, feel free to follow me on Instagram at mystical crystal tarot. But let's see what's going on, guys. Yes, my setup is different again. Like I told you, I was going to be playing around with the setup. And yeah, we're here now. But let's get into the spread. So when it comes to recent past energy, we have the Seven of Cups. Your current energy, we have the Judgment card in reverse. The Advice, we have the Five of Cups. The challenge or yeah, the challenge nine of cups outcome for this time frame is the queen of pentacles in reverse. And oh yeah, the theme is the five of wands. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So the first card is. The recent past, which is the seven of cups. And this is slight confusion. Uh, this is like misdirection, not really knowing which direction to go in, feeling kind of confused. And again, this is dealing with emotions. Whenever we're dealing with the seven of cups, this is like how we feel. Or when we're dealing with cups in general, this is having to do with how we feel. So this is like kind of being caught up in illusion or a fantasy. So this could have been like being caught up in a fantasy of what you wanted things to be or like daydreaming in a sense or being caught in a constant daydream or having way too many options, feeling like you have way too many options, so many options, so much so that it's difficult to make a decision. And this may have put you in a space of really feeling conflicted and confused and kind of trying to move with how you emotionally felt at the moment, okay? This is also, some of you guys realizing that you needed to be more organized or you just in general needed to be more organized with your life moving forward. And you may have also felt like in some cases your life may have been boring compared to what you've wanted to experience in your recent past or you felt like your life wasn't, quite matching up to what you've wanted your life to look like but this is just you guys realizing that you needed to put in the hours to get to your desired goal and also this was you needing to know that your emotions can carry you to make certain decisions that don't make sense in the long term so don't let your emotions carry you away into fantasies and, and daydreams basically now the next card we have for present energy we have the judgment card in reverse. So um, for some of you who have someone who, you know, you fall in and out of connection with or somebody you fall in and out of communication with, this is you either finally like shutting communication off from this person or like the opportunity to like rekindle the connection is taken away. This could be due to the fact that... um this person just shuts communication off completely or you decide to. But nonetheless, this is definitely the energy of cutting ties here. Um, also, with the judgment card in reverse, there's a decision that needed to be made at one point. And this is you either making the decision or deciding not to make the decision anymore um, because of the fact that it may be just too difficult to make or you may have felt like you didn't have full understanding to make said decision. Um, also, some of you may have been experiencing like negativity. Let me get the card. Experiencing like negativity or talking down on yourself. This is also the energy of like feeling stuck or self-criticism. So some of you may be real, being real hard on yourself right now. And this could be due to the fact that you're like resisting a new phase 
of energy or you're going through like a difficult time with, like I said, that self-criticism. Some of you are also like leaving a relationship and you're keeping the thoughts of what that person may have said to you in the front of your mind and letting that like keep playing over and over and over again. And some of you are just living really in balance at this moment and needing to make sense of your journey. Now, when it comes to the advice that I can give you with the five of cups in reverse, this is not fixating on what you can't change. OK, there's no need for you to keep fixating on what you can't change, what you didn't do, like release those feelings of guilt, release the need to fixate on the past and what hasn't worked out and why you didn't do this, why you didn't do that. Only focus on the now, because whenever you get caught up in that energy, you're always going to feel like you didn't do enough. OK. And when it comes to the possible obstacle or challenge that may come up, we do have the nine of cups. So this is fulfillment. You guys may be feeling blocked in terms of your fulfillment, feeling as if things aren't necessarily happening the way that you want them to or as fast as you want them to. Or your desires and wishes and goals may require you to make certain sacrifices that you either haven't been aware of you needing to make certain sacrifices in or like you're aware of it you just may not want to yeah clarifying that we have the eight of cups in reverse so it's like you want a certain outcome to happen but you don't feel like you're getting it but and you're not walking away because you're not receiving that outcome but you're also not happy either so it's a, a trick bag of a situation here now, when it comes to what I see for the outcome, I do have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you may be feeling like someone cannot be trusted um, or something to do with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo may be coming up um, of significance. Um, like I said, this could be you feeling like this person can't be trusted or um, this person maybe bad for business. Like if you have a, a business deal with this person. Hmm. Some of you could also be feeling like financially, you're not in a place where you really want to be. Not necessarily. Or you guys may be realizing that you're not as financially um, aware as you, you would have liked to be. Some of you may be even like overly consumed in your work and you may be isolating yourself from other people to focus on like career matters. Or like some of you have been ignoring your financial troubles and not, like not checking your bank account or something like that. And this is you needing to be careful in terms of um, finances. But okay. Um, now when it comes, and then also for some of you guys, this is realizing where you may have been neglecting your health as well. And you guys having to put that into, um, you, you guys need to put better eating habits into practice. Now the theme being the five of wands, this is confliction. This is inner confliction and outer confliction. This could be internal confliction that's creating outward issues. So be careful of that and don't let outer issues create inner confliction as well. So, um, and this could also be issues being brought to you by other people or you just, like I said, internally being conflicted or creatively blocked or something. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective for you. If I did, Thumbs the video up and subscribe. Check out the description if you want a personal and I will see you in the next one.